Migrating your WordPress website can be daunting and intimidating to think about, but these days you don't have to worry anymore because there's some awesome plugins that makes your website migration process a breeze. The only problem these days is trying to choose the best migration plugin for you. And that's what I'm here for today. Hi, I'm Yaz from Brainstorm Force, and today I'll be showing you my selection of the best migration plugins for WordPress to help you choose the best one for you. And if you're new to the channel, we're the company behind the most popular WordPress theme out there, Astra and we create content about our latest product updates, as well as tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you're interested in checking out any of that content, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications. Let's jump onto the computer and get started. Before starting with the first plugin, here are some considerations I made before selecting these. Number one, how effectively the plugin migrated our website, of course, with no hiccups or with little to no downtime. Number two, how easy it was to use, easiest possible methods for you with the least number of steps. And number three, the price or whether it's free or not. Based off these three categories, I've selected some plugins that I think work the best, especially for beginner level users. If using plugins is not for you, you can also migrate by getting the help from your web host or by using an FTP client. But I'll leave that for another video. If you want to find out how to do that, please let me know in the comments below. But in my opinion, using one of these plugins would be the way to go. And just to quickly show you the website that we'll be using for the demonstrations in this video, I've created a brand new install of WordPress and all I've done is install the Astra theme on top with one of their pre-built starter templates. The starter templates are like fully functional websites with pre-built designs, as you can see here, all of that is part of this design, all installed at a click of a button. And I've just added this just to give it some fluff, just to give it some content while we use the plugins to migrate this. If you want to check out Astra, I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, let's kick this off with our honorable mention, which is Updraft Plus Migrator. Updraft Plus is an excellent backup and migration plugin. And how this works is you can backup your website and download the backup files and then upload them and restore them onto your destination website. Now, this is the most common method for most migration plugins these days, and Updraft Plus does this pretty well. And that's all through the plugin, and you don't have to worry about using an FTP or anything like that to upload and backup your website onto your new website. But here are the drawbacks for me. One is that the migration feature is a premium only feature. So you'll have to sign up for a premium plan starting at $70 as a minimum per year. And as the price goes up between plans, you also get more and more websites where you can use your license for this plugin. This is more to do with the backup features of the plugin rather than migrating. But the migration feature sadly is only available with the paid version as well. Another reason why I have this lower on the list is that when you back up your original website, you get multiple backup files that you have to carry over onto the new website. Now this may be nitpicking a little bit, but I did feel that this was a little tedious when downloading each file one by one. But it's important to mention that some web hosts do have a maximum upload size limit. So having multiple smaller files rather than one large file can kind of help get around this easily. The next plugin is Duplicator. This is quite a popular migration plugin and I have included this in this list because its backup and migration features are very reliable. And all of these plugins in this video are really easy to get. You can install it straight from your WordPress repository on your original website. And you create a backup of the original website using this plugin. And then and that will leave you with these two files you see here, an installer file and an archived backup file. From there, you have to upload these files onto your new website via an FTP client or via cPanel or on a web host like SiteGround. And you also have to create a new database. This is where the plugin falls a bit short for me. Using FTP and creating a database might be a bit intimidating and difficult for some users, especially if you're a beginner. Even though the migration feature of this plugin is free, other plugins I'll mention in this video can migrate your website in a much simpler manner and it'll be easier for most users to do that themselves. And once you've uploaded these files onto your destination website, it's really easy. You just have to navigate to the URL of the installer file and that will initiate the duplicator migration wizard. When everything is done, Duplicator will take care of everything for you and unpack your original website onto your new destination website. It will even go through your databases and change your old domain name to the new one. So Duplicator will take care of everything for you. And that's all with the free version of the plugin too. So with the paid version, you get other features like cloud storage capabilities for your backups and sch scheduled backups as well. But in terms of migration, the free package is all you need. Next up, we have WP Vivid Backup. And this is one of my go-to plugins to migrate my websites. And you might have gotten a hint from earlier in the video, but with this plugin, you can do your whole migration process by only using the plugin alone. By that, I mean that you don't have to use any FTP or anything like that. And that makes it very simple, just like Updraft Plus. With that said, WP Vivid is also a paid plugin. 
But before you go ahead and skip to the next plugin on the list, please hear me out. Even though it's paid, you can still download it for free. And as soon as you activate the plugin, you start a free two week trial that gives you full access to the blogger package, which includes the migration features. And because for most general users, you probably will only have to migrate your website once or once in a while, the trial period of the plugin will give you everything you need to migrate your website with no hassle. Let's take a quick look. You can install this plugin again from the WordPress repository and you have a single click backup button and it creates the backups and has them ready for you to download within minutes. You can also choose to upload your backup files onto a cloud storage solution like Google Drive, Dropbox or more as you can see here. And what's cool is they don't have a limit on the size of website that you can backup or migrate. So that comes in handy, especially if you have a website that's quite large or if it's content heavy. And from there, you can install the same plugin on your destination website, then upload the backup file or files you created from the original website onto this destination website. And then you hit restore and let the plugin work its magic. And within a few minutes, it will restore the backup file, migrating your original website onto your destination website. It's really simple and it's never had any issues for me. And if you're interested in purchasing this plugin after the trial period, you can get the same package as this trial for only $49 or you can upgrade to another plan if you'd like to get even more tools and features. But if you're only after the migration feature, the blogger package will be fine for up to two domains. Lastly, I have my personal favorite and my old reliable, if you will, WP all-in-one migration. This is one that I've continuously used over the past year just because it's so simple and has worked seamless for me every time. For one, this plugin has the simplest and cleanest interface out of the ones I've mentioned in this video. And that makes it a lot less intimidating and leaves less room for confusion, especially if you're a beginner level user. And this is also the free version of the plugin. So that allows us up to 512 megabytes as a limit. So if you have a smaller website that's not too content heavy, then this plugin will be perfect for you. All the websites that I've worked with personally are quite small as well. So it's been very easy for me. All you have to do is download the plugin once again via the WordPress repository. And then the plugin shows up on the left hand side menu of your WordPress dashboard. From there, you go to export, and then here you get the option to export your website in any way you like. It can be a file onto your local machine, or even one of many different cloud storage options you see here, like Google Drive, Dropbox, and more. I usually just like to download to a file like this, and it creates a single packaged backup file for your original website. Then we go onto our destination website and we install the plugin just the same. But instead of exporting now, we go and click import. And then we can go ahead and upload the backup file that we got from our original website. And then it will proceed to restore our website and database. And it will automatically adjust any URLs in the database to match the new domain name, just like any good migration plugin should. And boom, that's it. From my experience, this plugin has always been the quickest and simplest out of the ones I've tried. And I've had no issues with the migration whatsoever. And this is why I really recommend this. And this is why I have it at the top of my list. But like I said before, this is the free version and it only supports up to 500 megabytes. But if you really want to upgrade, it's only a one-time fee of $69 for a lifetime license. And this allows you to use the plugin on an unlimited number of websites as well. But the plan is a little bit different with a business license where you pay $69 as a lifetime fee plus $30 a month from there. And just something to remember is that no matter which plugin you use, after you finish your migration process, it's always a great idea to go ahead and fully audit your website and make sure everything is working as it should. And those are my picks for the best migration plugins for WordPress. Please comment down below and let me know which plugin you'll be using. If you got value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and click on our logo over here to subscribe, or you can check out even more of our content by clicking on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.